There must be only one race in Burma. They don't want a minority. They want just one race, the Burmese race in Burma. That's why they try to suppress the minorities, the Korean as well as other ethnic groups in Burma. My father and 12 of his friends were arrested by the Burmese soldiers and they were killed. They burned the villages, they harassed them and they had to run away. Yeah, life in Burma is very, very hard. Every so often, the Burmese troops overran their villages and they have to run away. And eventually, they came to live in the refugee camps along the Thai-Burma border. in the concentration camp. We are not allowed to leave the camp. Just like living like animals, because they have small, small, small houses. And supposing somebody leaves the Thai authority, we will arrest them and punish them. They live in the camp for 10 years. The United Nations arranged for migration and then America, Australia, and a few other countries, they accepted the, these refugees. But they chose America because they think that America will be better than other countries. So they, they are chosen to come to America. When we first arrived in Fort Worth, there are no Korean, and also they couldn't speak the language, English. They had difficulty. <laughs> the most difficult thing is you can't speak the language. <laughs> As you know, it's not easy to learn a new language where you don't have some kind of foundation, and it was difficult. And to the Republic, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to be Texas, one state. The high school has been very accepting of someone so different. We just don't have the bullying problems or making them feel not welcome. I had heard about the Karen kids. You know, I heard good things and bad things, and I just think they're amazing. If you just can't help but fall in love with these kids. And they're hard workers, hard workers. There's not a lazy one in the bunch. And I think that goes for their parents, very hard workers too. We start with the packer, helping and pack the box like most of everyone who first came. They need to be accountable for one production line and to uh, make sure the quality, the production, and the output. We do have to develop some of the manual simplified into their language. So this will help them when the new people come in uh, without relying on the volunteer or the translator, they can grasp much faster and better. Gradually, if they can save up money and buy the house. She came to America because she wanted education for the children. 
And the parents have no education, so he doesn't want his children to be like them. He wants them to have a good education, a better standing in the community. Korean people don't know about Christ. They live in the jungle. Uh, I want to save their soul and also my soul. Preaching the word of God doesn't make any difference wherever you are. Everywhere is the same. He encountered several times dead in the jungle, running away, and the Lord kept him alive. So he, he left to serve the Lord. I feel much better because the place is clean. I feel much happier with our own homes. When we were in Thailand, our living is very, very low. But when we come here, we feel that we are, our standard of living is getting much better. When they were back home, they are living in fear because they had to run away from the Burmese onslaught. He's not living in fear anymore. That's the liberty, freedom. In our jungle, one mosquito bite can give you malaria. See? But here, no matter how many mosquitoes bit you, yeah, no malaria. <laughs> No malaria. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah.